Um, hey, Dana. Um, I think this one's going to really come together really well. I think it'll be really fun. Um, this is, yeah, these are going to be too small, by the way. Um, shoot, I wish I could make them bigger. I want to see them better. Um, this is really fun, too. I, yeah, I would definitely look for, like, a vintage book. Remember, um, oh, God, I can't remember the name of that one magazine that was popular when I was a little kid. Um, so anyway, um, let's see. Now, these look these look pretty good, except for, um, uh, it doesn't matter that much, right? <coughs> right? Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I've been, like, talking, doing these critiques all day. Uh, um, right here, um is a little out of focus and that's probably because the camera was closer here and sometimes you know the the camera focal um the the focal range of the lens is is um too short or long so it ends up getting blurry but this one looks good now you can see that this this is going to be way too small um this one looks pretty good even though um Again, you probably already know, if you want to get everything in focus on this, just um, close the aperture down. Um, I don't know if you have a manual camera. Um, these are pretty good pictures, so... Um, but again, that's having it being a little blurry is fine. But again, you can see how tiny this is. Be sure to have a look at this video. I really go in detail about how to get bigger images So on Google, so um, I would really suggest having a look at it. I'm not going to repeat it. That's why I made the video, because um, you know students always seem to, you know, get low quality images on Google for some reason. Um, so let's see what else. <clears throat> this looks this looks great. It's good lighting too. Um, I used to do that. I used to go in stores and photograph stuff. Another thing I would do is um, I wouldn't buy this because it's too expensive, but I used to buy stuff and then take it back um, after I photographed it. Now this one is out of focus right here, so I would suggest another one of these, even though that's something you could also find you know, online and Google image search. Again, just search for the higher, you know, like I showed you in that video, just search for the higher ones. Um, and I really like that this is out of focus a little bit too. You can see if this was in focus, you'd be able to <clears throat> read some of these words a little clearer. Um, this is really fun. This is, <clears throat> you might want to buy a mop head um, or if you can take it apart a little bit, just because I think if you get it, because your drawing is so fun and cool with this crazy hair. Um, I wonder, I don't know, I'm not going to suggest that you buy it because I don't know how much they are. I haven't used a mop like that for a while, but sometimes they're pretty cheap, just the head. Um, too bad you couldn't just take it out. Um, I'm so bad about taking stuff back, though. So so anyway, um, I think you're <clears throat> really up to a good start. Um, and again... I always encourage people to, and I love this angle. I think it's going to look, this angle is going to really come to, you know, come together really well. And of course, you can always um, clone out later on if you don't want this text because it might be a little distracting. But this is going to be a really good one for you to um, learn masking in, uh, next week. So I would suggest um, before you, you know, before you put it in the Dropbox Sunday, if you get some of these a little bit bigger, I really wouldn't worry about the focus on this. Um, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but a couple of the small ones, <clears throat> I would definitely suggest, and this one's a little out of focus as well, but but I'm really glad that you, you chose this one because it, it's really delightful, and it's going to be a fun personality, okay?